Once again, we're in the place to be. Welcome back to In The Black. Like the video. Help me grow the channel. And with that being said, let's jump right into it. I'm convinced that some people just don't want to be happy. Some people are never going to be satisfied by anything. <laughs> you could hand them a bag of cash and they'll find some reason to hate on it or to hate on you. You just can't please people. So I don't try to please nobody. But I'm looking at this animal farm and I am grateful every time that I look at it because I see the potential for earning passive income. It's the best kind of income, y'all. I hope y'all don't disagree with me on that. But for real, though, let's take a look at this. Some people are hating on the animal farm. Some people are actually complaining that the APRs are lower than what we would have expected or the APRs are, are lower than the manor farm was originally. And I just don't understand. Perhaps I'm looking at a different animal farm, but I'm looking at these APRs and I see 165, 111, I see 119, 247, I see 104. The average APR in the pools for the animal farm is 150% APR. Think about that, please. 150%. So if you just close your eyes and picked one, you're going to be getting over 100% APR. Every single year, you're going to earn 100% at least. That's amazing. Please name another tool that you can use, another vehicle that's going to give you that type of return on your investment. You can't name one because there isn't one. And people are still complaining about the animal farm. They're complaining that the APRs are, are too low. Are you kidding me? I like the pools because I think this is a good uh, way to avoid some of the uh, the worries that uh, some of us investors, um, you know, kind of get consumed with. And that's the idea of impermanent loss. Now, I did a video on impermanent loss. If you haven't seen that one, check it out right here. I think that uh, impermanent loss is like the boogeyman that lives in your closet or the monster that lives under your bed. It's really, really hyped up, but I think it's definitely exaggerated. The dangers are exaggerated for sure. Now, especially if you're dealing with the animal farm where we have these type of returns, impermanent loss is not going to be really a factor, okay? Now, obviously, I'm talking about the farms, all right? If you're in the farms, that's where you have the potential to suffer some impermanent loss. But, you know, things are volatile. Assets are volatile, and you're going to get some uh, volatility. You're going to be exposed to it. So that comes with the territory. But if you are one of those nervous type that wants to get some reward and wants to sleep really nicely on your pillow, then perhaps the, the pools are the way to go for you because you can stake your, your BNB and you can get 150% plus per year as a return on your investment and you don't have to worry about impermanent loss at all. Now, obviously, uh, this APR is going to be uh, less than the, uh, the farm's uh, that have uh, BNB as one of the components, but you don't have to worry about the impermanent loss. And you can just rest assured that you can put your your stake in. You can take your stake out when, you, when you're ready. Not sure why you would do that, though. You can take your stake out, and you can collect those funds that you put in and also the return on your investment. So if we look at this, I think the lowest... The lowest one is uh, the BTC, BTCB. All right, 104% APR. So what does that mean? Okay, let's take let's take a look a look at this. So that means let's say I have let's say I got one thousand dollars worth one thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin, and I go through the hoops that I have to go through in order to put that. Bitcoin onto the um, uh, the BSC chain, okay? Now, I'm going to earn 
So 12 months from now, I'm going to have my 104%. And that means I'm going to have a quote unquote total of 2000 and some change. However, I have to take into account that that original 1000, I'm going to lose a percentage. So I'm going to lose 3%. Okay, so that 1,000, original 1,000, I'm going to take that 3% off. So I'm really putting in $970. All right, so I'm losing that 3% as a tax. Okay, a convenience tax, I guess you could say. Now, I'm still going to earn that 104%. Still going to get that 104%. So let me add that again, 104%. So I'm coming out with just under two grand even though I've lost 3% when I staked it originally. That's pretty incredible. So I took my thousand worth of Bitcoin and now I have essentially two grand worth of assets. I have my Bitcoin and I also have the dogs that I'm going to be earning here. So I got uh, you know, about a thousand dollars worth of dogs that I'm earning and that I've earned over the 12 months and I also have my just about thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin. I don't know. That seems like a pretty good deal, if you ask me. I could take those dogs, you know, and I could um, put those into Bitcoin if I wanted to, after I reduce my, my tax burden, okay? Or I can just, you know, recycle those dogs, put them into the dog pound, put them into the, the, the staking pool, all right, auto compounding or the linear pool, whichever one I, I prefer. All right, and I'm good to go. I can earn some LPs. There's a lot I can do with that. And all I did was just put in some uh, BTC that I have laying around in a wallet. There's hardly any risk whatsoever. I'm coming out on top. So I'm not sure what people are talking about. I'm not sure what they're smoking, but. I'm definitely bullish on the pools. I'm bullish on the farms as well, but the pools seem like a no-brainer. It's a way that you can you can safely uh, put your assets and just let them sit and not have to worry about losing anything to a permanent loss. So what are you thinking about the pools? Do you have more of your assets locked up in the pools or do you have more locked up in the farms? Don't forget to like the video. Or tell us in the comments why you chose the pools over the farms or the farms over the pools. What's your reasoning about that? And as always, stay smart, stay in the black.